Hello, this is Joe Neville and in this video I am going to install Ansible 2.4 on Ubuntu 16.04. So here I have, I've got a Windows 7 host, I'm running an Ubuntu 16.04.4 uh, LTS release and I am going to install um, the latest stable version of Ansible. Now, if you're like me um, and you wanted to install Ansible, you might say, okay, fine, what do I need to do? If you run an Ansible command and it's not installed, it tells you do um, a sudo apt install Ansible. Now, what happens if we do this, okay? Paste that in there and do that install. Okay, I skipped ahead there because it was taking a while. Now if I run the command ansible dash dash version, what do I get? Okay, now I get this, Ansible 2.002, okay, which is quite an old version because it's on 2.4 now. So if I wanted the latest version, I'm not going to get it this way. So how can I get Ansible 2.4? Well, if you go over to Ansible and you have a look at resources, you get Ansible Docs. So it's docs.ansible.com and you have here installation. So we go to that. Now I found this quite problematic because what you have here is a lot of information, okay, for lots of different installs according to your different Linux OS. Because one of the things with Ansible is that the control machine, so the machine that you're running the Ansible commands on, is not supported on Windows. So you do have to go, if you're a Windows user, you have to use something else, okay? So what we've got here is a bunch of different um, Linux OS, or we've got Mac OS, we've got Pac-Man, we, you know, like we've even got Arch Linux in there and Solaris, or you've got how to install the um, packages via uh, Python in package install, so via pip, or you can run it from source. So, so it's not the easiest of installation documents. It has improved over time, I'd say that, but it isn't the easiest, I believe, okay? You, uh, it doesn't really help that you get all these warning boxes and you get this deprecated stuff. Now, I have written this up in a blog, all the nuances that I found when I was doing this of how to install um, via pip or via the different OS packages installs link in the description so the long and the short of this is though that rather than using just app install like it tells you what you need to do is midway through this document with lots of different options what you're after actually is this process here which i mean it does say latest releases via app so if you were um a bit more sensible than I am, I think you would um, not have any problem with the install, but I actually did have, um, it took me a few goes to actually find this and follow it, so maybe that's just me being silly. Can I make this bigger? Yes, I can. Okay, right, so here is the install process that you need to go for. Essentially, with Ubuntu, if you're running 16.04 Ubuntu, or 17, or whatever the latest one that you're running, what you need to do to get 2.4 rather than the older 2.0 you need to put in an extra repository this ppa okay so if you follow these steps then you'll get 2.4 so let's just do that okay for a fresh install as if by magic i've jumped onto a clone of my ubuntu 16.04 so if we check for ansible it is not installed if we check etc ansible Ansible, it's not there. Okay, so what we need to do then is first of all run this update. Let's put this to the side actually, that will be easier. Okay, let's run an update.
Okay, done. Now, I don't think that we need this, but we'll give it a go. I think this is already going to be installed. Yes, it is. Right. So here we go to add the new Ansible repository. Enter to confirm. Happy with that. Good. Then we have to run the update again. Okay. There we are. Right, let's say K that. That's finished. There we are. So we've got Ansible 2.4.3, sorry, and we've got our config file installed. And if we have a look in the installed folder there for Ansible, we've got the .cfg file and we've got the host and we've got roles there. So what the phrase that springs to mind to me is it's easy once you know how. It's uh, kind of hidden in plain sight behind all of these multicolored warning boxes and the multiple different ways of installing. But to get the latest stable version of Ansible on Ubuntu, it is pretty easy once you know what you're doing. So that's it for this short video. Thanks for watching. Please comment, share, subscribe, etc. There'll be some more um, Ansible videos coming soon. But that's all for now. My name's Joe Neville. Thanks for watching and goodbye.